Hello everyone, this is Tatiana and welcome to my channel. If you haven't done so yet, then make sure to subscribe and ring the bell in order not to miss out on any of my upcoming videos. My client came to me today with this set that was done by another nail tech, and I have to be honest, this might be one of the worst sets I've seen in a while. This set is all over the place, the extensions are all different shapes, some of them aren't even shaped, and the tips on these extensions are curled over. These videos are by no means intended to hurt any feelings, but rather to point out some manicure mistakes and how to avoid them. And remember everyone, practice makes perfect, and if you don't practice, you won't get any better. Also, if no one points out your mistakes, then how can you learn and sharpen your skills? So I hope you all find today's video interesting and helpful, and without any further delay, let's get started. With my nail drill using blue abrasion, I'm taking the product down to a very thin layer. Once the product was removed, I can really see just how poorly her nails were filed. The natural nail wasn't filed down, meaning these extensions weren't filed down from the point of growth. And this is so, so important, as a mistake like this could lead to a nicolysis. So make sure when you're filing to always start from the point of growth. Unfortunately, this wasn't the case on only one nail, but on all 10 of her nails. So carefully with my nail file, I'm filing both her natural nail and the extension, reshaping them and making sure they're all nice and even. And further with my nail drill, I'm cleaning up the cuticle area. In order to take care of those missing corners, I'm using a poly gel. I'm placing a small bead of poly gel on her nail, and with my brush lightly dampened in a dehydrator, I'm spreading the gel throughout the center of her nail. By spreading the gel out like this, we'll be able to reconstruct the lower sides of her nail. 
And once her nails have cured, I can take my nail file once again and file some of the free edge to leave everything nice and even. Did you notice how much product we added and her nails don't look any thicker? More product doesn't mean wider nails. It's all about properly applying and spreading out the product. Now I'm applying a pinky builder gel in a bottle. A gel like this one is really convenient. I'm applying it exactly how I would when applying a base coat. And here are her beautifully shaped nails. Now just to remove a little bit of the excess product from underneath. Then with a top coat, I'm sealing her nails underneath so that no dirt builds up. And now to finish everything off with a little stamping and chrome powder. My client wants her nails in a matte finish, but before going over the stamping in a matte top coat, I'll need to use a glossy one. Matte top coats tend to pull the color from stamping and smear them. So I'm using a glossy top coat first, and once it's cured, I'll be able to go over everything in a matte finish. Also, the consistency of your top coat is key. In order to avoid your stamps from smearing, make sure to use a top coat with thick consistency. And now with a black gel paint and a non-wipe top coat mixed together, I'm painting a few areas. I'm letting those areas cure underneath the lamp for about 30 to 40 seconds, and then going over those areas in this beautiful purple chrome powder, which happens to be my client's favorite color. This unusual and creative design was so much fun, and the photos turned out amazing. Our transformation is complete. My client is so happy with her new set. And what do you guys think? Also, here is a quick photo of how her nails have been holding up. 
I hope you all enjoyed today's transformation, and if you did, then please let me know by giving this video a big thumbs up, and until next time.